Hello, and welcome to Dynamic Dungeons. Today, we will be covering how to bring your Dynamic Dungeon maps into Foundry VTT using the supported JSON files provided. To get started, we want to create a new scene. Click the Create Scene button, and it does not matter what you name it. Put anything you want there. You can go ahead and close this window. Right-click on the scene that you created, and click Import Data. Go ahead and choose a file, and what we're going to be looking for here is the JSON file that you downloaded from Dynamic Dungeons. So clicking on there, I already have my file folder pulled up, and I'm going to click on this JSON file. This is for a scene called Harm Chambers. I open this up and click Import. Only it will take a second here, and you can already see a map has shown up, and you see some lights and doors, but well, we don't have a map just yet. So we're going to go back in and hit, click Configure again on the sidebar. And now we need to browse for our actual background image. So I don't have it here just yet, but I'm going to, I am going want to make sure I save it in the right spot. So I'm going to click on Worlds and go into this world. And this is where I'm going to upload this to. Now you can upload this anywhere you want on your Foundry instance. This is just where I'm going to do it. I'm going to click on Choose File. And I have my maps here. Now, you may have multiple versions of the map. You might have versions with a WebM or some with an MP4. Uh, you might have some that are gridded or gridless. I would suggest sticking with the WebM versions of the maps as they are smaller files and found you will handle them better in general and it will take less time to load. As far as which one you want, that's up to you. I'm going to go ahead and grab this gridless one. I'm going to click on open and it's going to take a moment here for it to upload. So you can see the file right he named here, but I'm not going to click anything yet. I'm going to wait till the file actually shows up here in the directory. Once that happens, I'll be able to click select file and we'll have our map. So let's give it a moment. Okay. Now we can see we have our file here. So I'm going to go ahead and click that select file and save changes. And there it is. Our map is in. You can see we have some text on here marking the room numbers. You can see our doors. If we click on the walls controls, you can see all the walls are already on here. Uh, you might see here some invisible walls to make sure your players don't walk onto the wall tiles, things like that. But you can see some secret doors, some regular doors. If we go on lighting, we can see our lighting that's been included as well. And we're all set. Now, there are some versions of these files that include audio and there's some that don't. Uh, if you use one that doesn't, you want the audio file separate, you can just go over to your audio and you can just create a playlist. We will call this one Harm Chambers. And then you can go ahead and just browse just like we did for the file. You can do the same thing and you can go ahead and browse for your audio file and upload it and use it on the map. So very, very easy to do, uh, but that's all there is to it. So I hope you found this tutorial informational and useful and enjoy your dynamic dungeons.